here let's create an hibernate application to fetch the records from the database so for that just create a new java project let's give the name as hibernate fetch project next let's click finish now just add the jar files source so build path configure build path add external jars select jar files in addition to that we require one more jar file that is postgres jar file so let's click ok so you'll see what the jar files have been added now let's create a package source com.mc so click finish now i'll just create a resources folder finish now here we need to add configuration files so just select this configuration files from the previous projects and paste it here in the resources so you'll see this file is have been present configuration files now we want to create a class called as department and to take this let's create and dpt id string dpt name generate the data set as okay. now just open this department hbm.xml this is a mapping file we need to fetch the record from the department table so we specify the table name here department and in configuration hibernate.cfg.xml file here initially if you have created that particular table and records inserted into the table so here we need to select rest of the configuration will be related to a database so just over then uh, just go for do class creation we also require public static file main now just import the packages Just click on that try catch. When the exception comes, so it will display that exception. So begin with the configuration. Next up is we require some additional packages as java dot util so that we can use directly a list. Go 
create query. Can directly specify HQL query here, hypernet query language from department. it with department this is explicit type casting now just fetch the report so department id is d dot So this is how you want to fetch the record. Let's execute this. So you'll see a record, only one record was available. Let's add some more record into it in department table. fetch it from our program so yeah so I am seeing emails with that change it to execute it again you will see the records from that particular table so thank you that's it